Okay, this is going to be a short video demonstration on downloading plugins uh, from a website and getting them into your SketchUp folder uh, so that uh, we have full functionality of the plugins. Uh, there's a little bit of file management involved, um, but uh, if you view SketchUp any amount of time, you realize that the native tools only offer so much capability, and plugins will really add to a a uh, significant amount of the functionality of the program. Now plugins come in uh, two different uh, forms. Uh, they're either a uh, file name uh, .rb which is just a simple text script uh, or they can come as a uh, compressed file uh, .zip. Uh, you can see up here I've got uh, quite a few plugins uh, on my horizontal toolbar. Uh, all these icons uh, and tool sets uh, our plugins with the exception of the uh, uh, face styles and then uh, also some uh, uh, edit and uh, file icons uh, but everything else are uh, icons uh, uh, for plugins and each icon also comes within a, a, a tool set and uh, you can see that in this tool set there's uh, five icons uh, so what we're going to do is uh, open up my browser here uh, and go to the Ruby Library Depot uh, repository for uh, SketchUp plugins and we're going to download a uh, Homer uh, which is a, a compressed file uh, or a zipped file um, and it's a uh, plugin that does an undo operation. Uh, so what we'll do is just uh, hit the download button and uh, as I said before this is a zip file so it's got uh, homer underscore uh, fr dot zip um, we don't want to open up these files uh, whether it's a zip file or an RB file what we want to do is save it now with the zip file uh, once we save it we're going to need to extract all the files so we want to save it to some place where we'll remember where it's at I save all my uh, zip files uh, into the plugins uh, uh, folder within Google SketchUp uh, certainly you could send it to a temporary file or even to uh, your desktop if you'd like uh, but as I said, I sa save everything into the plugins file. So what we need to do is find our local uh, hard drive and then under the program files you'll have Google and Google SketchUp and then plugins. So I'm just going to save this uh, to the plugins folder. And then we'll open up that folder. And normally with uh, Windows XP, you would find uh, that homer.zip uh, somewhere down in this area. But with Windows 7, uh, downloaded files get put into a compatibilities file. Uh, so what we need to do then is just do a drag and drop over to the plugins folder. This also occurs with the uh, RB. So now if we go down it should be right here you can see that's a uh, compressed uh, zip folder. So now we need to extract that. So I just right click on it and we're going to extract all. And as I said before, everything has to go just into the plugins folder. Uh, Windows likes to add this uh, subdirectory that we need to take out. If we don't take that out, SketchUp won't find it. So I just highlight it and hit the delete button. And now it should extract into the proper folder. So here we have the original compressed file. Here's Homer RB, which is the uh, Ruby script. 
And if we go further up, we'll probably find another subdirectory that has an icon and a sound file. So now we got these all into the proper place uh, within the plugins folder. Let's close that down. And if you have uh, SketchUp open, what you want to do is close it and then reopen it. And this is a known problem with uh, SketchUp. Uh, toolbars do not lock. Uh, when you add a plugin with uh, a tool set or an icon, it has a tendency to rearrange things on you. Um, hopefully version 8 will uh, be an improvement over this, but uh, for the time being we're just going to have to live with it. So I'm just going to move things back. Here is uh, the icon that uh, we had just added, which is uh, Homer Simpson. Now the plugins, uh, you've got uh, in the drop down menu a list of uh, numerous plugins. Uh, some script writers will have their plugins deposited into other areas. Uh, you can see down here there's some joint push pull and a few other ones. Uh, Fritos plugins get put in uh, uh, this tools menu uh, with additional menus. Uh, some plugins will, for drawing tools get thrown into the uh, draw drop down menus. Um, if you can't find uh, an icon, you're expecting an icon to pop up or a tool set to pop up, what you can do is go to the view menu and under toolbars, if you find the name of the plugin, there should be a check mark next to it. If there's not a check mark, just click it and it should pop up on your toolbars. In addition, once in a great while, uh, if you download a plugin and you just can't find it anywhere, you may need to go down to your preferences and uh, under your extensions uh, it should list uh, extensions and you may need to uh, ch check a box down there to get it uh, activated. But this uh, uh, plugin popped right up onto my toolbar and it should be ready to go so let's uh, give it a little try here. Uh, just make a little rectangle and do a push-pull. So uh, this uh, plug-in, which is uh, an undo function, actually is the same as uh, this undo. And if you go to the menu, it would be uh, in the drop-down menus, the undo uh, of the last uh, uh, activity done, or the keyboard shortcut, Control-Z. So let's give it a try. And it seems to work and uh, everything's got its functionality. Um, and we'll see how long uh, uh, it'll be before uh, the, the, the sound wave uh, gets a little old.